Special thanks to my Patreon subscribers for keeping this channel alive. This is the ferret. Incredibly fast, maneuverable, and sleek. By far the best jet I've ever made. However, no feet comes easily. This video is all about that long, sometimes I hate building planes, and painful journey. So last video, my first jet had a ton of issues. We had problems ranging from aesthetics, speed, and worst of all, spontaneous engine shutdowns. Now you're looking at me and wondering, why don't I just punch a bunch of holes in the fuselage to get better airflow? Bruh, I did. That's the fun part. I spent way too much time for it to only semi work. It's like you're a, it's like like, you're a bomb <laughs> diffuser. <laughs> yeah. So like it or not, I'm starting fresh. As we can see right away, there are a few things dragging this airframe back. The fuselage shape, the obstructed intake, limiting the amount of air coming in, and an awful exhaust nozzle. And with a complete redesign with all these issues in mind, we get this. Giving it a much sleeker fuselage reduces its overall profile, benefiting us with speed and durability because triangles are the strongest shape. Another feature is the unobstructed intake. With much more open space, there's more volume of air for the engine to get sucked in, in turn giving us better performance out of the engine. And finally, the exhaust nozzle. Not only does it look cooler, but it actually helps us get a lot of thrust. See, that little panel you see does a very important job. It compresses the air exiting the engine, making the air leaving even faster than what the engine is spitting out. However, it's not that easy. Too little, and we don't use this effect's full potential. So how do we find the optimal size? <laughs> we guessed. Anyways, with our new airframe done, it was time to see if my many assumptions were correct. While I'm driving, take a look at my Patreon in the link below with 50% off all the plans for the planes you saw in this and last video. All the electronics I use are also linked in the description below. Alright, now to fix the overheating problem once and for all, what better way than to actually just hang it on the outside. So on this plane, we're hanging out the ESC but the battery is going to be on the inside this time. We're going to see if it does overheat, and if it does, then we're going to have to hang the battery also on the outside somewhere over here. If not, then perfect. And yeah, that's about it. I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Can you see it? Can you see the heat waves coming off of it? There is none. <laughs> I need to fix this plane. I don't know how to do this, but probably what we're gonna do is try hanging the battery on the outside and see. Maybe the system just doesn't work with each other, but we'll try it. 
We'll see what this thing needs. Okay, so last night I was actually in bed and I decided I wanted to make some modular bomb drop systems. Oops. Okay, so we have both darts in right now, right? Now the idea is, is it's gonna hang upside down just like so. As you can see, it stays there. And when the dart moves, or when the servo moves, the arm, it goes like this. Launches that one. And then when I click the other way, it's gonna do this. And drop that one. So that's the idea. All right, so I got two of these done. And now it's time to put them on the aircraft. Are you ever gonna put I don't see the bombs, dude. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, what did you do? Ah! Missed it. Did you get it? That is. That was rough. Oh, there's the battery. Is that what happened? You pull it around, did it pop out? No, it didn't pop out. I I had full control, but. Okay, I guess we'll just do the outside first. Above these one boards and above my own Because it's like, you know. And see? You guys. Yo. Oh my fucking god, guys. Oh, I'm losing power. Oh!